Despite promising economic news, unemployment is still higher than a year ago, but help could be on the way for people in New Jersey who have been trying to get assistance but keep hitting a brick wall. Here's CBS 2's Jessica Layton. I've never been unemployed in my life, ever. It feels bad. These are the tears of a mother whose feeling of self-worth is sadly running out. I just feel hopeless. One of thousands who lost her job during the pandemic, waiting for a check from the New Jersey Department of Labor. Tara Cruiser is still hitting roadblocks in the journey to get some answers on this unexplained error message from when she filed a claim. And I'm trying to be positive and all that, but man, it's it's just a and I just just at least tell us, you know what I mean, Just There was a fear of being evicted then, and then also I didn't eat for about like two weeks um, in the first two weeks of December. Tommy Coleman admits being an independent contractor, his claim is complicated. He was promised to call back at the end of last year. To this day, nobody has contacted me. And I don't have the, the amount of time to wait the way I did before. Granted, the volume of people the Department of Labor is trying to help is unprecedented, and it has paid out more than $25 billion in benefits since last March. But the criticism that the office is unresponsive has been one of the biggest complaints since the pandemic began. They're desperate, they, they have nowhere else to turn. Senator Nick Scateri says his office is inundated with phone calls pleading for help every day. He's sponsoring a bill that would require the DOL to assign claims handlers to legislative offices so his staff can help those constituents who feel ignored. People are still being stonewalled, not being able to get uh, the service that our taxpayers re require and deserve. So what does the state say? We've tried emailing and calling. We have been trying to get some answers from the Department of Labor for several days. To no avail. That lack of communication is precisely the problem for so many people. I would like them to know that this has been the most difficult process I've ever been involved in. What do you say to them? Don't BS me. Tell me the truth. Just give me a phone call. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.